You know, sometimes you can just sniff something and it takes you back to your childhood. Ah, there I am. I think maybe I'm four or five years old. And uh, I'm having uh, what we used to call back in, in Hungary uh, poppy seed noodles. So you would make some egg noodles and uh, boil them up. And then separately, you take some poppy seeds and grind them up and mix it with some icing sugar. Sprinkle it over the noodles and just have a feast. Boy, that really takes me back. I haven't had poppy seed uh, very often since then. But uh, my interest has been rekindled because of some interesting stuff in the news about eating poppy seeds and about uh, making a tea brewed from poppy seed. Poppy seed, of course, comes from the poppy. And uh, poppy seeds contain uh, morphine, although not very much. Morphine is probably the oldest drug known to mankind. I mean, we can go back thousands of years and, and see clay figures of Sumerian uh, medicine men holding poppies. Obviously, they were using it to counter the pain. Well, anyway, these days, you can buy poppy seeds all over the web of all kinds with various kind of recipes to brew them up into a tea. Well, you have to be very careful with this because some of those poppy seeds contain appreciable amounts of, of morphine. And there have been cases of fatalities of people who have brewed up uh, tea, bought from these uh, uh, internet providers, and uh, they had a toxic reaction. It's rare. It's rare because most of the time poppy seeds do not contain very much morphine, but unfortunately it, it, does, uh, it does happen. Uh, all poppy seeds contain a variety of compounds. I mean, morphine is just one of them. You also have papaverine, you have, you have codeine. Uh, these are physiologically um, active. Now, the, the reason that this comes up is because of the question of what if you've eaten some poppy seed bagel, for example, or a poppy seed muffin, and you have to have a urine test. Is it possible to get a positive reaction? Well, the truth is it is possible. And you may remember that classic episode from Seinfeld where Elaine partakes of a poppy seed muffin and ends up failing a drug test. Well, this is not only in the realm of fiction. This can really happen. There was a case recently in, in England where a gentleman was actually fired from his job at a power plant because uh, he showed morphine in the urine. He claims it was due to some poppy seed cake that he had eaten for breakfast. Well, he had no reaction to it, certainly nothing in terms of, of euphoria. But the fact is that today, with the tremendously sophisticated analytical chemical uh, techniques that we have, you can pick up morphine to the parts per trillion or part per billion. That doesn't have any physiological activity, but it is enough to make you fail uh, the test. So anyone who is... Uh, going to go for some sort of athletic competition where there is testing after, you have to be aware of the fact that, that uh, you should not eat any, anything that contains poppy seeds because you may just uh, fail that test. Well, as I said, you know, just the scent even takes me back to my childhood and uh, poppy seed cake like this. Ah, you know what? This is good I remember. And I don't know if you ever have to do urine tests when you're doing a, a, a TV tape like this. I, I hope not because uh, I probably wouldn't be able to pass now.